The Banco Central is lifting restrictions on new bank licenses. That we, these have been in place since the Asian financial crisis. Beverly Natividad sat down with BSP Deputy Governor Nestor Espinilla and asked why the BSP decided to lift its 17-year-old moratorium. Maybe if your your perspective is you're based in in Manila, in the national capital region, uh, you, you'd like to think that there's already a lot of banks in the country. But if you actually move out of the con uh, out of the national capital region, then the then it becomes clear that uh, there's much more room for uh, delivery of uh, banking services because, among other things, uh, based on that survey. Uh, actually, for individuals, most of their borrowing needs are not being met through the banking system. Instead, they are being uh, met by informal lenders as well as family and friends, just to give you an example of the opportunity. And yet, we are a growing population, increasingly better off, but also quite young. And uh, young people also want to build their assets. So I ask you about timing. So the, you said this has long been in the offing, but uh, now is the perfect time. Is it also because the economy is strong, we can accommodate? You said there's enough room for expansion. And also because since we're allowing foreign banks in, there's also a market to open for more domestic banks to come in. That actually uh, balances off because we already allowed foreign banks to come in. So it only makes sense, and it's only uh, leveling the playing field that uh, non-foreign investors can also come in. There's uh, plenty of room for uh, having more banking services. And it's not just a question of quantity, but also quality of services. By quality, I mean accessibility and also pricing, uh, beca because these products need to be designed to meet the requirements of um, <clears throat> of uh, of the of the population and at the right price. Mm -hmm. So, for example, yes, uh, another observation is large companies or large firms have access to to credit, but it's also true that uh, many smaller enterprises, uh, particularly SMEs. Uh, don't really have uh, very good access to formal financial uh, formal credit from financial institutions. So, so by introducing uh, more competition, uh, we'd like to strongly encourage uh, players to serve these markets. Generally, I would agree with the view that uh, there's been a lot of improvement in the banking system, even with the smaller players. To begin with, the weak ones have been. Uh, have left the system, have been exited. So what remains are generally stronger banks. <clears throat> but even then, uh, strategically, even if you are, you're still uh, strong, but from the perspective of competitiveness, you may want to become stronger still. And the way to do that is to consider a uh, combination opportunities. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a strategic choice of the banks uh, concerned. Is it also why it's, uh, there's, parang it's phased in, the, the development will be phased in? Um, because until 2018, you were saying a while ago that yeah. um, for banks who are thinking of, um, of applying for new licenses, they have their time to, uh, to upgrade if they need to until 2018 when, when all the, the well, barriers are, are, are put down. We've been signaling that uh, s uh, smaller uh, banks should also consider uh, consolidation. So it, it's, not, it's not just like today we are telling them that it's uh, consolidation, merger and consolidation is, a, is something to take a look at if you think you need more scale to be competitive. So it's two-phased. So the phase one is just really for trips to possibly upgrade into a universal or commercial bank, but by 2018 it's all open. Mm -hmm. So there, in effect, it's a final two years for you to, uh, to, to think about your plans. Otherwise, you really are going to face a very difficult environment.